Welcome back. So after donating to their Kickstarter campaign and waiting about six months for this wallet to arrive, I finally have it in my hands. The Groove Wallet. Let's check it out. So this is the box, the Groove Wallet by Groove Life comes in. You can see all of the features right here on the back. And right here I have two tin cases, one with the wallet, and I did opt for the optional leather sleeve here. But before I take these out of the cases, when I first received the Groove Wallet, I took a picture of it and put it on my Instagram. Somebody over at Groove Life saw that I wanted to do a review on this wallet and asked me if I wanted to do a giveaway. So of course I accepted, so right here, I have another Groove Wallet right here, and this box is unopened, so I don't even know what's inside of this box, so stay tuned to the end of this video. I'm gonna open this up, and I'm gonna show you guys what you can win here. So I'm really stoked for this. I'm just gonna put this off to the side, though, and let's open up these cases here. So yes, I did get the Groove Wallet in gunmetal here, and then this case should have the leather card sleeve in chestnut. Now you do need to attach this leather card sleeve to the wallet with screws and they give you all the hardware here so that's really cool. But let me give you guys a close up of the Groove Wallet here by Groove Life and while you guys are checking this out, let's talk about some of the features. All right, so the Groove Wallet is machined from 6063 aluminum alloy and because it's made of aluminum, it's naturally RFID protected. It's available in two colors, a midnight black and the wallet that I have here, gunmetal. It's a vertical style wallet that can hold up to six cards plus folded cash under its detachable aluminum money clip. The Groove Wallet uses a very unique mechanic that deploys the cards with a single thumb swipe. It comes with Groove Life's no BS unlimited 94 year warranty, which is just another way of saying it comes with a lifetime warranty. And it's made right here in the USA, Tennessee to be exact. All right, so what about the dimensions? It comes in at 2.48 inches by 3.88 inches and has a thickness of 0.33 inches. That's right, this wallet is ultra slim. And according to my weight test, it comes in at 2.5 ounces. That's 72 grams, and yes, I did weigh it with the aluminum money clip. So like I mentioned, I was one of their Kickstarter backers, I believe back in December. Uh, it's been about six months waiting for this bad boy right here. And it was a fairly successful Kickstarter for Groove Life. I believe they had over 9,400 backers and raised about $810,000 for this wallet. And I'm a big fan of the Groove Life belt. I actually did a video on it, so when I saw they were releasing a wallet, of course, I had to jump on that. So what makes this wallet so special is the unique way it deploys its cards. It just takes a single thumb swipe on this front plate here to push up the cards, as you can see. Now, this is just the fake credit card that comes with the wallet. I'll just throw that off to the side. Now, when I first saw this, I thought it was super original, very unique, that they use the full front plate of the wallet as its mechanism to deploy the cards. I've just never seen anything like that, and it actually works very well. And the engineering is really interesting. Right here, there's a mechanical card arm that uses friction, so when your cards are popped up, it uses silicone bumpers to hold those cards into place. So let me show you how this works without any cards in the wallet. Once I slide that plate up, it pushes that mechanical arm out of the way so it gives the cards on the inside room to pop up. So let me demonstrate that to you with this fake credit card from Groove Life here. And I'll go real slow. Once I press up on that front plate here, it pushes that arm out of the way and then grabs onto that credit card so it doesn't fall back in. Like I said, this is one of the coolest, most unique original mechanisms that I've seen on any wallet. So now let's try this with my six demo cards here. I'm not sure if all six will fit. Of course, it's six depending on the thickness of your cards. And all right, so it did take all six of my cards here. So now let's try the mechanism here and let's see how well it fanned out the cards. Yeah, not that bad. So like I said, this mechanic works fairly well, but the only problem with this style of wallet is if you just need to get out your top card, you have to deploy all your cards at the same time. But if you went with the optional leather sleeve, that sort of solves that problem. I'll attach that once I demonstrate this aluminum money clip back here. So how well do these cards stay in place once they're in the wallet? So let's do a shake test. So this shake test, I'm going to hold that top plate with my fingers and shake it. You can see, yeah, those cards aren't going anywhere. But that's because I was holding that mechanism with both of my fingers here. It wasn't allowing this plate to slide. What happens if I don't hold that mechanism and do a shake test? 
yeah, not good things. But to be fair, that's fairly obvious because I'm using gravity to push down this plate and deploying the cards as I push down. So that's not really a fair test. So the fair test is if I hold that plate, do the shake test, and if I do that, it's just fine. So now let's talk about the aluminum money clip here on the back. It does have a lot of tension to it almost too much tension. I like my money clips to have just enough tension where I feel like the bills aren't just gonna slide out easy, but not kill my fingers trying to pry it up here, as you can see. Look at that. But regardless, I have six American dollar bills right here. I'm gonna fold these into quarters and then pry up that money clip here. And as you can see, yeah, holds those six bills just fine. So let's try to add four more to make it an even 10 here, fold it into quarters and lift up. Yeah, not a problem at all. Uh, 10 bills, it is raising up that money clip just slightly. So right around 10 bills, I would say would be the maximum for this money clip here. But this money clip comes standard with the Groove Wallet. I didn't want this money clip. I actually went for the optional leather card sleeve here. So just give me a few minutes while I screw on this card sleeve to the back of the wallet and remove this money clip here. So. I'll be right back. 11 minutes later. So while I was screwing on this leather card sleeve, I discovered where the magnet is here on the bottom that holds this plate into place. And it is right, yeah, right there. But here's what the Groove wallet looks like with the leather card sleeve screwed onto the back. It's just four screws, two on the side and two on the bottom right there. And let's see what this card is. It just goes over the money clip and leather card sleeve. Great job, you chose the best wallets in the world. So let me give you guys a close up of this leather card sleeve here. It's just a single pocket that can hold three more cards. So add that to the six of the Groove Wallet and now the Groove Wallet can hold a total of nine cards with this optional leather card sleeve. There's an elastic strap right here on the front to hold your cash and hold your cash firmly in the place. There's some rubber feet on the bottom. And then right dead center there's a leather piece that has the Groove Life logo right there. Now this is actually the first time using this leather strap here on camera. I just attached it for the first time just now so this might be fairly tight to get all three cards in there at once so oh yeah let me push it in there wow that is really tight but that leather should form around those cards in no time and now let me get those same 10 bills underneath the elastic strap right there and with this elastic strap you should be able to hold a lot more than just 10 bills you can see right here there's a lot more room than i can fit under that strap but as of right now i have a semi fully loaded groove wallet i have six cards here in the main chamber three cards in the leather card sleeve here and 10 bills folded into quarters. And I'll tell you, this wallet is still pretty thin even with nine cards and 10 bills. That's just because the main wallet here is just so thin at, what is it, 8.33 millimeters, I believe it was. Sorry, it's 8.38 millimeters, my bad. But now with the addition of this leather card sleeve, you can put your most used credit card right there on the top and now you don't have to deploy all of your credit cards just to get to your most used card, which I think is great. This is definitely the way to go in my opinion get the leather card sleeve with the wallet and ditch the money clip but guys as much as i like the groove wallet here it's not all perfect so let's go over the couple things that i think groove life can make improvements on with their next version so first off i think the fit and finish here could be just slightly better meaning this top plate here feels a little bit loose when it's in its resting position here so if i move it like this you can see that i can move this top plate all around you can see right here if i lift up on it you can see what I'm talking about. So I think they can improve on the fit and finish here of this mechanical sliding plate. All right, the second thing, this top plate here is made of aluminum and is very sleek, very smooth, and at the same time, very slippery. So a few times when I went to deploy the cards with my thumb, my thumb just slipped on it just because it's so slippery. Now that only happened a few times to me and it's just a minor annoyance, but I still feel like I should tell you guys that. Now what could solve that problem? Just put a little bit of texture right here. I know Groove Life was going for a very sleek, very clean look, but if they put just a little bit of texture there, that could help. And the last small complaint that I had was sometimes when I pushed up on this card plate here, once in a while it got stuck in the up position, which made me look close at the mechanism right here. It's just an arm that's attached on the corner that's attached to this top plate. So when you slide up this top plate here, it grabs onto the arm and that arm is stepped. 
So it pushes the cards up and that's how we get the step look to the cards. But looking at it closer, I don't think there's anything in there to help bring this plate back down once you press it up. Now there is a magnet in there like I just showed you right there that helps keep the plate in its closed position, but there's nothing helping bring it down once you press it up like that. So I would suggest maybe some kind of a spring attached to that card so once you let this go, it pulls down that sliding plate here so it will never get stuck in its up position again. And other than those small complaints, I think the Groove Wallet here is a winner. And it just might be one of the most fidgety wallets I've ever owned. I've caught myself doing this over and over again when I first got it. All right guys, it's giveaway time. So let's see what Groove Life sent me in this box here. So let me break the seal. Sorry, it's not gonna be sealed, but I wanna show you guys what you're actually playing for here. So let's open this up. And okay, so it is the Groove Wallet here. It looks like the Groove Wallet in the Midnight Black. Ooh, and looking at it closer, it looks like it's the wallet and the black leather card sleeve here bundled together. So that is awesome. Cause if you look at my box, it just shows the aluminum with the aluminum clip. This is the black version with the black leather sleeve. That is awesome. Sorry guys, the giveaway is off. I'm actually gonna keep this for myself. No, I'm just kidding. This is awesome. Thank you Groove Life for sending this over to me to give away. So how do you win this awesome combo right here? Obviously first you have to be subscribed to this channel. So if you're not, please hit that subscribe button. The second thing is you have to like this video. And the third thing is you have to comment on this video. Each person can comment up to two times and I'm not gonna require any kind of comment number to hit. I'm just gonna give this away in about two weeks. So I'll put the date down below when I'm actually gonna announce the winner of this wallet right here, but the actual rules are subscribe, like, comment up to two times, and in about two weeks time, I'd say, I'm giving this bad boy away. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you think of the new Groove Wallet? Now, if you wanna check this out for yourself, I will have links down below in my description box, plus I'll have all the rules to my giveaway down below as well. This is awesome. I don't think you guys wanna miss this giveaway. And once again, thank you Groove Life for sending this over to me to give away. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe and go!